Terrence J, a former BET host, uh, 106 in Park. Uh, is also an actor, been in uh, several movies, including uh, Think Like a Man. Uh, but this morning, he is starring in uh, a hit and run, according to police, uh, because his $200,000 car, a McLaren, I believe it's an 850, a McLaren 850, was unrecognizable <laughs> today. Yeah, look, wrapped look around at that. a tree. So he's driving in, this, in the San Fernando Valley in Studio City uh, last night, and or actually early this morning, around 12.30 in the morning, and he hits, or his girlfriend is driving, this, uh, he has a, a model, um, right. uh, uh, this model, according to the witnesses. Yes, Jasmine. Jasmine, Jasmine. Sanders. She yep. hits a parking meter. But go back to the picture, because this is just crazy. So she hits a parking meter, and it mows down the parking meter and then slams into a tree, and that's what stops the car. This wow. car is destroyed. I mean, destroyed. Destroyed. Now, the amazing thing when you see this photo is, the first thing you think is, God, I hope everyone's all right. But they left the scene. Which is so amazing. How clearly did they, they were get out of okay that car? enough to get out of the car and leave the scene. Uh, now, aren't you amazed at that? I, I am absolutely amazed. I, I figured that, you know, an ambulance had come there and hoping that they're okay. Uh, I mean, I understand the truth of the matter got... is, at this point, we really don't know what their condition, what their conditions are. Because, because... they're MIA. Well, yeah, you know what's going to happen next is police took a hit and run report. As of this morning, there was there was no follow-up yet. No one's called. What's going to happen is they're going to come to the impound yard and say, hey, my car is missing or, or not, my car is or here not. or not at some point, and then police will kind of work on it from there. So we should be clear. The car is registered to Terrence. Right. Witnesses said that they saw uh, him in the girlfriend. passenger seat. She was driving. Right, that she was driving. Uh, By the way, we have what not... you have to do in a situation like that, if you are in California in most states and you are in an accident that causes death, injury, or property damage, Damage, you have to either stay at the scene, or if nobody is there, you have to leave a note uh, with the victim. In this case, I mean, it's the city. It's and the, par the parking, the parking meter. meter. If you took out the tree, it's not a big deal. It's and the parking meter that's going to get you and, on this. And, you know, I suppose if they left a note there saying, we, you know, I hit this, we what have do you, to go What home. do you leave to the parking meter? Hey, parking meter, uh, no, you're it's not, broken? You're not, no, 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 because yeah, no, you know the police are going to come. You should basically wait for the cops. I understand you should wait for the cops, and I get why it's... But if they... Pay the damage to the, the parking nope, meter. Nope, nope, You have to actually, you, you have to own up. If, in other words, if you, like, hit a parked car right. on, the, on your way home and you fly, flee, but then you come back and say, look, I'll pay no, for no, it, I get it's that, still because, there, because there's a there's a, a person who's a victim Well, no, there. no, no. if it's a case, parked car. But right. this is the city. It's still property damage. Right. They so don't you pay, distinguish. So you they pay don't the distinguish. property damage. But no, and then the it, ticket should go away, well, right? Well, that's like saying you can rob, you can you can steal candy from a liquor store and then come no, back and pay this, for it. No, this is a, this is like not that. This is just a, a parking meter. No, and you know, listen, there's so many of these. They have bigger crimes dude, that they're investigating. Dude, it's a crime. I, I'm not saying it's not. It's just not the biggest crime. I mean, this, they're well, not even going to, out actually not, investigating this I, right I, now. Harvey, it's but not why murder. are you? But Harvey, why are you so pressed on this? Let them go. It's a tree in the parking meter. No, no, no. They got to pay for the damage. They got to pay for the damage. It's a crime. I mean, I mean the two hundred thousand dollars hit me. for the car the is going to be a nice punishment. Yeah. Dennis, car, Dennis, man. Okay, Officer Dennis, Harvey, calm Dennis, down. Goodness. Lunch, lunch for a week. If they find Do out that it, that she was driving and they don't charge her with hit and run, that the city attorney doesn't charge her, I'll give you lunch for a week. All right, I'm game for that. Do I have to buy you lunch for a week? Yep, you, a day, a day for me. That's fine. You would really want to take that bet? Yeah, huh? yeah. I know. You know, Dennis, I'm back in that. By the way, Dennis, you really want to take that bet? Dennis, I, I will. Uh, I will subsidize his lunch. If no, you, you can't do that. It's yes, he's got to feel some pain. You know, he's got to feel right. some pain. I've worked for you for 16 years. What more pain do I need? <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Dennis. Wow, Dennis. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nicole from Houston, Texas, and I honestly think that Terrence and Jasmine are so dumb for fleeing the scene of a crime. Obviously, the police are going to find out whose car it is. Obviously, they're going to be charged with the crime. So why flee a scene? They're obviously rich. They could obviously buy a brand new car. So it just doesn't make any sense. They should have just stayed. Nice, it make sense. nice crown molding, by the way. I like it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You really are You're welcome. an interior designer just, just, just dying to jump out of you. <laughs>